Hey guys, uh, this tutorial is on a visualizer for games. Um, it has been created for games um, to uh, make the input to also visualize the resulting um, structures and molecular properties after your calculation has been um, successfully complete. Uh, so here I'll just show you um, the download and installation process and then I'll go very quickly through the basic um, features of the program and then the more in detail stuff you'll see during the actual games tutorials for the specific topics. So the program is uh, this unpronounceable thing, um, MacMall PLT with WX. Um, AS stands for Windows Experts. I don't know. Um, just I have no idea what the WX stands for. Uh, the uh, website, uh, you can just Google it. Um, and the latest version is relatively new. Uh, you can read the description of all of this on their website. If you just want to download it, you can click um, on the third to uh, last a link and you get to this page over here. Here you have to select the OS um, that you need. For me it was Windows 64 um, and it's just um, an installer. Uh, you click on download um, and it will give you this could be harmful thing but it's not harmful don't worry um, then when you download it you just have to double click and it will run you through a wizard beware people with windows 10 um, your firewall may think that this is a virus of some sort so uh, it's not don't worry um, it's legit and it's not gonna screw over your computer uh, so maybe you'll have to um, okay, so now if you open the software, it's this M that's in front um, of like a gray moon, I would say, that's the logo. Um, let's see what we have. Uh, if I want to draw a new molecule, I have to click on the Builder tab and then click on Build Tools, uh, which is, well, basically a periodic table. Um, but you can also click on prototypes and here you have the different pre-made molecules. You have organics, solvents, amino acids, and you can also upload your own stuff. Which is kind of nice. So if you have like a scaffold, you know that you'll be using um, a lot. You can just upload there and save it um, and then change, for example, substituents and stuff like that. Um, but uh, let's, let's just go back to the periodic table and try to draw a five member ring um, with let's say nitrogen on it, see how that goes. So we have carbon that appears like this beautiful black surprise um, sphere and the red um, sticks indicate where the another next bond can be made. And here, if you click super close to the other atom, you'll see a triple bond, but then you can drag um, the atom further away and then you see that you have a double bond and then a single bond being created. So that's kind of a nice feature. Okay, and then I want to make another one, another one, and another one. So now technically, if I drag them close enough, they should all make nice um, bonds. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. I like it. Alright, so now um, let's say I would want to change this carbon to a nitrogen. So I would go here, click on nitrogen, and then uh, right click onto the carbon and say change C to N. And now, boom. Done. All right. So, if you noticed, then probably you know that I'm missing something, which is the hydrogens. For this, I can go into Builder. Oh wait, I have to deselect the molecule first. Builder, Edit, Builder, and then Add Hydrogens. 
So now it's done. I'm going to rotate a bit so you guys can see what what's happening. Um, you'll notice that the addition of hydrogens is not exactly um, optimized, right? So I have more hydrogens than I need to. This is a problem of the software. It doesn't recognize that I have created double bonds here. So um, it shows them as double bonds, but actually it doesn't think that they are. So I will have to uh, delete some heart carbons before proceeding. Okay, and one last one. Okay, so unfortunately in this program we don't have any um, quick minimization tool, so the hydrogens look a bit, you know, crazy. But this is what we get. Um, another interesting thing that I really like about this software is the following. Look what you can do. Wee this is mesmerizing. I can look at this for like hours. This is great. If you want to create really cool um, screensavers for your computer, there you go. I've, I've, I've shown you the way. Um, Okay, so now um, now we're ready to create an actual input for games. Um, then you can go into a sub window, and here you have a whole bunch of options. But we will for now just go into Input Builder, and here um, you can select the basis set. Let's say my favorite one, this one. And then you can choose diffuse stuff and uh, polarization things and then control this is the type of uh, run that you need as it will be optimization but there is a whole bunch of other things energy means a single point calculation and Hessian means um, a frequency okay but we will do optimization uh, RHF means that we have a closed shell uh, molecule and I will want to use DFT so I have to check here and now if I go into data this is the general information about the molecule I can just leave it as default system as well I don't really usually change anything here and the DFT you can select which DFT you want and I won't what do I want I want B3 lib where'd it go there you go. B3 lib. Um, everything else you can explore for yourself and when you're ready you click on write file and you can save it um, as an input file. All right. Uh, so I won't do that. I'll have to stop the rotation unfortunately. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we also have um, a way to um, visualize uh, for example uh, you can check the atom symbol if you need it for let's say a figure in your paper you can um, add the atom number if you're not sure which one is which um, and then you can have a limited amount of uh, display styles so we have wireframe or we have a ball and stick, which is a bit nicer, um, and um, center of view if you have a big selection of flying around molecules, um, and I think that's pretty much it um, in terms of, of the very basic general stuff, um, and we will look at more um, specific uh, features of the program. Uh, when we will be uh, running the calculations for each uh, different types of of calculations for Gaussian um, Gaussian for games I'm sorry about that okay
so um, I'll see you uh, next time uh, when we will optimize a molecule in games and look at the output and visualize it in um, MACMO PLT with uh, too many consonants in its name. Okay, I'll see you next time.